Hello. Uh, today we're going to do a first grade missing add-in problem and we're going to check out Scoop in action. So your problem today is going to be about Scoop and chickens. So take a moment and watch Scoop chase some chickens. Hey, who are you? Right here. Who are you? So our problem today is that Scoop chased seven chickens in the yard. If she chased three of them in the front yard, how many chickens did she chase in the backyard? So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to write a target sentence. And what is this question about? It's about chickens. So my answer is going to be about blank chickens. If I don't know how to spell chickens, I'm just going to look in my problem and copy the letters. Hmm. So I need to figure out how many chickens she chased in the backyard. Well, I'm going to start out by drawing seven, and I'm going to do that in a 10 frame. So I can draw a 10 frame really quickly by drawing a rectangle, cutting it in half, and then making five equal sections. So if Scoop chased seven chickens, that means there was seven chickens in my entire yard. Now, it's important to decide what's the whole and what's the parts, right? In our number bond, a whole is made up of two parts. In this case, all the chickens in the yard are seven. So what I'm looking for is I know one part is three and I need to find the missing part. In my equation, what I'm really looking for is I know three from my front yard plus I don't know from my backyard makes seven. In a subtraction sentence, I want to start with the whole. I have seven all together. I know that if I take three away, that'll also leave me with my missing addend. So your missing addend problems are really just subtraction problems. So I know I had seven chickens total. Three of them were in the front yard. So I'm going to take three of them and cross them off. So how many chickens must have been in the backyard? One, two three, four. So I know that there must have been four chickens. I'm going to go write that number in my target sentence and I'm going to finish my equations. Three plus something makes seven and I know that something has to be four from my picture, but what else could I do? I could count on. I'm going to circle three, four, five, six, seven, meaning it took one, two, three, four jumps to make it there, so four must be my missing addend. If I'm doing subtraction, I would start at seven, and I'm gonna take three away. So I'm gonna go back three. One, two, three. That tells me my subtraction answer must be four. Let's check out some facts about chickens. Did you know chickens talk a lot, and those clucks mean something? They have over 30 different types of clucks that they can make. Sometimes it's about calling their kids um, and alerting about food or danger. And a really cool fact, the chicken is the closest living relative to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Bet you didn't know that. Have a great day, first graders.